as I said, like I would see you in a minute. It hasn't quite been a minute technically. You know, the uh, time stamp between these videos is probably going to be in the seconds. But whatever. So, as I said, there's one more box to open up here. This one, I don't know why it was, it was half wrapped in this like ripped up Hot Topic bag, but that's another story for another day. Uh, so, many, many moons ago, there was a video that I did about actually the shoes I, I wore this weekend. And I said something about that I was probably eventually going to get the third pair of the pack. It happened. They're right here. Yeah, so that's, uh, it finally happened. And I, it took forever, but I did it. I waited, I, I found a sale, and here we are. I had a little bit of a hesitation at first, kind of, sort of, just because a friend of mine said he bought these and he would got his in a standard box. But, I mean, I went through that whole thing with those, uh, House of Targaryen Ultra Boost, the Game of Thrones ones, where they sent them in a very standard box. Off of that note, the uh, Foot Locker ended up sending me some voucher of like $15 off my next purchase or something, no minimum required, so that's kind of cool for my inconvenience. But after dealing with uh, Adidas' customer support and Foot Locker, no idea what went wrong. Everything seems to line up as far as where the shoes came from, where they were sent or packaged up. The normal means of transportation, all that, even looking at identical boxes, you know, everything matched up. It was just the one thing that was different was the actual shoe box, and I don't get that at all. Anyways, this right here, Air Max Plus box, right, because I am a huge Air Max Plus fan. Right here, the Air Max Plus OG, and what, the Sunset colorway, or I think, the, I think that's what it's called? can't really remember, honestly. Um, one thing I will say, though, that I just thought about, sometimes uh, Foot Locker, I think it was? It doesn't really say. They put these stickers on the actual box. I'm not a fan of that. But whatever, it only matters. Yeah, it really just doesn't matter, I guess. Anyway, so, finally got these. Uh, and that means that I have completed the pack, got all three, got the Voltage Purple, Got the, was it, the Hyper Blue? And now, I have these two. Well, the, this one, but there's two shoes. Now I have these. So, pretty content with that. Honestly, I'm not like overwhelmed with joy or anything, because these are still, like looking at these, these are very similar to the, to another pair of the Air Max Pluses that I have, which I'll toss up a picture over here. I don't remember what those were called, honestly, but they're largely the same. I think the difference had something to do with like the coloring of the, the outsole here, the midsole here. And something else was slightly different as well. But whatever. If you're looking at the, maybe I'll just keep the picture up just a little little longer. So you can look at this picture of or you can look over here at this shoe, and you can see the picture over here of the other shoe, and you can see for yourself where the differences are right so I feel like that's long enough anyways moving past that let's do this review here shall we so first up right one of the things that I've noticed about the other two that came in these come with this uh, arch support stuff this little like foam thing that you can have that's kind of nice I suppose I don't need it you know I've never had a problem with arch issues but looking at the thing I mean I don't know I'm not really sure where that's coming from but this does look, uh, well, actually, no, that's not even digging into the shoe, because that's just where the, where the air breaks. Whatever. It is what it is. So, across the bottom, across this here midsole, it's the standard Air Max Plus midsole. Nothing too fancy about that, but in a way, in itself, it is kind of fancy. At least, I like it. So, down in there, you can get the thing where you can kind of see through, see through the air. It's kind of cool, you know. It's nice and clear. On the back, it's got, like, the the red and the yellow on that side anyway not so much that side that one's just the one flat yellow piece orangish color really so past that onto the upper part you got that that clear thing around the edge of the toe that I'm kinda getting used to now that I've worn the other pair the uh, Voltage Pearl pair a lot this well I wore exclusively that this weekend and so now I kinda 
I'm not so bothered by it because you really don't notice it. You, you, if anything, you notice more just like the color, the vibrance of the actual shoe. So this right here, definitely not a deal breaker. I mean, I never said it was, but now I'm definitely saying it is not. So there's that. Past that, this part here, the lower part, the black part that's across the bottom of the shoe. On the other ones, it feels like a different material than these for some reason. It felt more um, new buckish. This feels more like, like a, not plastic, but something slightly different. Like a, like a very cheap leather, you know? Like the kind that you wouldn't spend a lot of money on and you didn't want it to just give the illusion of quality. That's kind of how this feels along the bottom here. Not a huge deal to me though. Because really, I mostly like this for the uh, the orange and the uh, yellow, or orange and the red kind of gradient thing they got going on. And I really just wanted to get that third one from the pack. So, there's that. And then you got the red swooshes on there too. Pretty nice touch. It gives it that nice sunrise, sunset vibe, whichever color makes sense for that. As far as what they call this, it's black pimento bright ceramic. Black slash pimento hyphen bright ceramic. Whatever. So yeah, th that's the colorway. Anyways, on the inside, much like the other ones, let's see here. Let's see if I can open that up a little bit. Kind of got the TN with like the, on the bottom it shows what the bottom of the sole looks like. Just like that, but on the inside, so it's kind of a nice touch. And moving up past the tongue, on the tip there, you got the, the normal logo for the Nike Air. Nice kind of embossed, glossy, plastic covered thing. But the thing that really matters the most is the sizing. That's what people like to know about. So for these, I will actually, against my best wishes, because I just got home not too long ago from running all around, getting a new passport and whatnot. I kind of don't feel like dragging this video out, but I'm going to because I do that. I'm going to do the on foot, so uh, that's kind of why I'm loosening this shoe up. But yes, not immediately though. I'm going to record other stuff and then come back to it. So things will possibly take a little more editing because everything's going to be just a little out of place. But give me a minute and there will be an on foot and some thoughts on this shoe. Oh, I do want to like just get a good shot of that bottom there because I really like the bottoms on these pluses that they do. I don't know, it's just kind of a cool look. They uh, won't stay that way for long, but it's nice, it's nice. Overall, the, the plus, it's in my, easily in my top five Air Maxes, probably in the top three. Can't really say for sure, I'd have to really think, give it some thought though. Alright, yeah, so let's do that on foot thing. Give me a minute. Alright, so on foot has been done, videos are over here. Oops. And so now let's talk about the sizing situation. So I just wore a pair of these, the, the purple pair, all Saturday, all Sunday, all today. And so I have a lot to say about those as far as, because it's, it's, it's fresh in my head. And I gotta say, like, it is, it is a snug fit. I don't know if that's a, any reason for anyone to size up. I don't think it is. I still would stick true to size, but it is a snug fit. But it's super comfortable. I mean, these are probably one of the best things to come out of 98 outside of a certain Hell in a Cell match at uh, King of the Ring that year. You know, but that's, that's neither here nor there. So these overall, though, the sizing, true to size, you know, snug fit, take it or leave it. But um, all day comfort, definitely there on these. Definitely there. I mean, like I said, three days, day in, day out with these. No complaints, not... Not at all. And they look good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe you've been looking at the videos more than you've been looking at me, but the, these are nice. These are definitely nice. I have nothing but good things to say about them, which is why the 98s are so high up on my list, like as far as my, my favorite shoes go. I mean, Air Max wise, anyways. But, um, so what, whatever you think about these colors or whatever, it's your own thing. The upside being that this particular model, the Air Max Plus, it comes in so many different colors that if you're on the fence about trying out a pair, you can more than likely find a pair that you like color-wise and probably on sale too because 
I don't know that I've seen any of these sell out. Even these that were like super, I want to say hyped up, but people were like kind of, kind of excited about them. You know, they're a little worked up. They're like, oh man, they're they're coming out. I gotta get those. These and these and the blue ones. The blue ones seemed like they may have had. It could have just be the circles I follow, but they seemed like those were a little more sought after than these. But they were both up there. You know, people were talking about them. They knew they were coming out and wanted to get them. And then I think everybody did that wanted them. It's just that they were made as a general release, so they were pretty much everywhere readily available and seemingly still are. So all I'm saying is if you're thinking about getting a pair of Air Max Pluses, which you should, go out there and look through the foot actions, the foot lockers, you know, the, the finish lines, you know, the end clothings, wherever you care to buy your shoes, and you're probably going to find a pair that you like then I suggest you order it in your normal true to size size and see what you think. And most people have a fairly generous return policy, so use it to your advantage if you need to. But yeah, so that's going to be it as far as the review goes and all that stuff because there's really nothing past that to say. So I'll give you that one last up close shot and here is that. This right here. God, man, those just looking at them in the in the screen here. These are nice. Like we got a pair of these for my dad for Christmas, and he was all about them. So, I'm sure if you get a pair for yourself, you too will be all about them, right? If you do and you aren't, let me know. Let me know, because I want to hear about that. I'd like to hear the, the negative side of things as well as the positive side. So, if you have anything to say in the comments, please put them down there. I'll respond regardless of what it is, except for that one time when somebody said something that I... I don't know, just some gibberish. I think there may have been like some emojis or something in there. I, I couldn't respond to it. I was just like, I liked it to acknowledge it. And then that was the end of that. So anyways, that's going to be it for me. Nothing more to say about these guys. So just wrapping up the video. Have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. And I will see you around. Uh, watch my other videos. There's like three, three, three that should be going up tonight. Yeah, so do that. It'll give you something to do. Alright, later.